welcome everybody I'm Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com thanks for joining me for the sensational Scorpio April horoscope another big month rocks around we have a solar eclipse in Aries we also have Mercury going retrograde on the first day of the month and uh, Mercury is associated with tricksters and scammers sometimes uh, so it's probably appropriate that it falls on April Fool's Day <laughs> let's go to the board now here we go here's your horoscope but firstly I'm going to draw two cards as theme cards for you for the month what do I see I see a handful of cash money in money out it's quite a lot of money actually like it's a big it's a big handful interestingly it's greenbacks which is the American dollar so this is probably more to do with Americans or if you use American currency the card that comes out around that or something hang on a sec before i pull the card there's something else mm. scorpio april 2024 what do i see right i also see a baby in a pram it's a really old fashioned perambulator like from the 1950s a wicker type pram and so this is a new energy that's coming into your life that needs a lot of attention. It needs nurturing and it could be something like a new job or a new business or a sideline but or even a new relationship. But a new energy that you have to put your attention into. All right, maybe your money as well. The card that comes out, I'm going to run with that one because it jumped out. It's the new energy, the Ace of Pentacles. New beginnings around your finances you may and i'm getting the sense oh gosh oh wait hang on <laughs> oh this spring with tears to my eyes flashes of lightning here are coming down it's like it's coming down just as well i don't wear eye makeup i'll tell you flashes of lightning coming down into the trees you are being electrified in some way the tree is like the tree of life your tree of life you are the tree it is possible that it is a family member i've had a great surge of energy just come through then like electricity this has not happened like while i've been reading for a very long time however i should say my rising sign is scorpio and so that's probably why it's affecting me so much i was trying to say before that i was just looking at the clouds when i got that lightning bolt of energy and it's like there's been a lack of clarity about direction in life what you're supposed to do about something there's a change in direction but you're not sure where you're going perhaps there's also some feelings of disappointment you've been on a path but it's not working out the way that you'd hope perhaps and that's why there's some sort of change the good news is you go through some sort of initiation period hence being struck by lightning <laughs> and there's blue sky on the other side and the clouds are clearing i don't know if you can see that on your monitor there or your device but yeah there's clearing clouds with blue skies things are going to come good it may cost you money for this new beginning as i said in the vision which i can't even remember what it was now apart from that lightning but yeah there may be money involved but it's just an investment and that's what you need to do oh get over that hang on a sec i haven't got any tissues here unfortunately anyway not to worry we'll soldier on number two card number two the second half there's a lot of feathers in front of me feathers are sometimes signs from the angels signs from spirit that you're flying high and so a lot of soft white and gray feathers and it's like we're leaving messages for you all over the place all you've got to do is look let's see you're about to fly high i'm going to go with that card there it is the full card it's saying step out take a risk oh i want to say you can afford to take a risk now this is a strange terminology because afford like you think in terms of money it's going to cost money but they're saying it's not as bad as you think you can afford to do this so take the risk step out of off the promontory now you're even going to sprout wings and fly i see this pile of feathers i hope the wings don't fall off <laughs> i think they are messages though sprout wings and fly and maybe when you're sprouting wings you do lose a few feathers along the way I don't know we all have spirit spiritual wings so maybe yeah focus on that some people aren't going to like it 
uh, this little dog is trying to hold her back and you may have some people that don't want to change because as you change they have to change too and that requires energy and effort and they don't want to do it so they just try to talk you out of it but it's important to listen to your heart so whether you sprout wings and fly or end up in the drink you could still end up much better off because down here in the ocean of your subconscious there are sunken treasures so you might find new gifts that you didn't know you had or old gifts that you left behind or lost or something like that action needs to be taken and growth is going to happen it's a major arcana card this is really major it will affect the direction of your life for some time to come you do have your MC here in Korea. It may involve your career. You also have, unlike any other star sign for April, you actually have a T-square here to start the month. Most star signs do not have any aspect pattern starting the month. And I always think that how you start the month is like a mini template. And so whatever happens at the beginning of the month can get carried through in some form. So this T-square involving your MC, Pluto and Mercury, but Mercury is retrograde from the first, do believe, do remember that. So there could be some communication issues. However, this T-square is saying, work with me. Although I am challenging, I can give you ultimate success. So a T-square, it's a bit of a struggle. You've got to put effort into it. But it's the kind of effort that you learn and grow from and there's some benefit. Now added to that, oh, I wanted to say too, it involves Pluto. So Pluto is all about life, death and regeneration. And for many of you, this is going to be a regeneration of something. I feel like the baby, the new baby I saw in the vision coming through. You're going to get interested in something perhaps and it's going to require a fair bit of energy and it might be like a side hustle so even if you don't give up your day job if you if you are working uh, it's like an outlet for you in some way that takes your really takes your fancy so yeah keep on keeping on now the other thing is you also have a minor grand trine happening unlike any other star sign involving the moon so this is just literally for hours on the first only because that moon will be out of there in two and a half to three days well, it's already halfway through so it won't even be that it will be like one day involving the moon jupiter and saturn so the focal point is here the moon and jupiter surging their considerable energies into saturn here to get your creativity going to get some structure in your life around socializing having fun maybe you haven't been having much fun lately and saturn there is restrictive around having fun but if you do it in a structured way so you say well every thursday night I'm going to go and play golf or something. Uh, why you'd want to play golf, I don't know. <laughs> I did a project on golf in high school and I did about, wrote about 80 pages and I just thought, what a stupid sport this is. <laughs> Chasing a little ball around. Uh, it's not like bushwalking or whatever. Anyway, just my personal opinion there. You can argue with me in the comments about that. Uh, it's basically saying you need some sort of structure around your leisure and pleasure. Instead of just drifting along, actually put in your diary time uh, to have fun every week. Saturn will appreciate that. Uh, and uh, so you can set up some good positive habits. Uh, as I mentioned, Mercury is retrograde from the 1st of uh, April through to the 25th in Aries. And it's so it's going backwards here and this is in your house of normal routine and work and health so you might feel like you're going backwards in some way maybe work's not going smoothly your daily routine or whatever it is you do on a daily basis but yeah it's time for massage it's time for pampering it's time to get some work schedules and take care of your daily life do be careful of miscommunications misunderstandings it's not a great time to sign a contract uh, however it is a great time to 
pick up anything from the past that you didn't finish, particularly things that started before, say, the 24th of March, because with Mercury retrograde in these dates, there's also an extra week before the 1st and an extra week after the 25th where it's in shadow period. So don't forget that. But if you started something between the 24th, before the 24th, it's a great time to pick it up and complete it. You may also find people from the past coming back. You hear news from old school friends or perhaps an old lover or something from the past can come back, particularly concerning your daily routine, your work or your health. We have Venus going into Aries on the 5th, bringing beautiful, smooth-flowing, courteous, polite energy. You could meet a beautiful person through your daily routine or your work or your well-being or health as well. They may be beautiful on the inside and the outside. The solar eclipse is also here, bringing new beginnings. Maybe you get more organised with your work and you don't dilly-dally, but these are likely to be quite physical, structured, new beginnings. It's not just thinking about things, it's actually new things that actually happen. Then we have the sun going into Taurus on the 10th up here, and this brings insight and awareness and happiness around your committed relationships, your partnerships, whether they be personal or business partnerships. So a lot of insight it's fabulous actually it's really good for relationships and especially when venus joins in later on the 29th venus is in love with love and so your relationships could be quite affectionate and loving and even people you don't get on with the relationships with those people can also improve and also anything to do with legalities can improve. I want to say also, because Venus looks after money, you may receive some sort of offer or opportunity, but particularly to do with money, some sort of offer may come. The full moon in Scorpio, your sign, gives your identity a bit of a shake-up, perhaps your appearance, you want to change things, or... It's possible that in the outside world you are perceived differently. There could be quite intense feelings around that, but it's only for a few days, so don't worry too much. Venus and Taurus, I talked about Mars into Aries on the last day of the month. Here brings you a lot more energy. You could be exercising more. You might include increase your exercise regime. You might have a lot more ambition to do with your work or your normal da daily routine and just more energy for life. Generally, you're feeling better than you normally do. Perhaps you probably feel like you have more vitality. It's a good thing. So that's it, Sensational Scorpios. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been useful for you. I just want to wish you a wonderful month. And don't forget, send a, a like and comment. It would be fabulous. And subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much. Have a great month. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.